photography for me was just a side thing at the beginning. I'd pick up a small camera that I had gotten for a Christmas present and I would just take pictures of things I would see on my bike rides. When I moved to South Africa after high school, my cousin Cameron introduced me into surfing and it was something that was completely different than anything I'd ever seen before. I started swimming out with my cousin's GoPro and I realized that surf photography in the water was something that I really wanted to do, but it was way out of my price range. It was a pipe hole dream that was never gonna turn into anything. And then the more and more research I did, I started to realize that I could do it, but I had to, I had to work hard for it. South Africa was basically a place that I was reborn from, but I realized that it wasn't a place that I had a future in. I, I flew back to Colorado to live with my dad for a bit and my brother, and things went south real quick. I ended up in San Diego, and it's almost like a miracle the way things went because I turned a horror story into something almost perfect. And I went from having just a couple of things in my bag, like my housing and my wetsuit and some clothes, and was able to find a home and a job and got back up on my feet. Part of the reason that I was so depressed after high school as I realized that I had no interest in anything. I realized when I found the click in my head, it created this shin and being able to finally figure out what it was, was the most eye-opening experience ever and it, it changed the whole world for me. I realized now that I was back in the States and I was earning you know, the dollar, then so the rand, I could you know, start investing into better equipment. So then I started switching to uh, an Aquatech housing. It's heavy duty, it's watertight, and it's got a little bit more functionality on the controls, which is great because the transition of like going out before the sun is up to sunrise, I could finally like fine tune the controls so that the whole session I was out was you know evenly lit rather than having to be only out for one hour beforehand. I wanted to have a surf photographer job. I wanted to be doing contests, I wanted to do it all, and it, I, I realized I was having more fun on my free time doing it as a hobby. And I didn't want to have money attached to it, because when you attach money to it, it becomes a job, and if you make it a job, it becomes a chore, and you stop enjoying it. People were like forcing to pay me for photos, and I, I was just like, all right, okay, so I'll set up a website. And I realized that my own name sounded like, you know, something in the surf, and that's barrel. And you can explain it to people very quick in the water. Uh, I had some people that gave me negative responses. I had some people that were a little more aggressive and mean. And over time, as my photography got better and I started getting better shots of them, they were getting nicer to me and they were more friendly. And all of a sudden, like, I wasn't a bad guy. You know, it, all of a sudden, you know, they, they liked me. I think it's the only time of experience I've ever had where when you get out in the water, there's nothing else around that matters. You're not cold, you're not miserable, you're not freaking out from exhaustion, like you're happy, you're warm. You're tricking yourself to be, you know, happy. That is what is like the ultimate job. And I'm nowhere close to it, but I finally realized like that is something that I want. My name is Blair Austin and I am Blair Austin.